Hello everyone, my name is Jake. I do resin castings, I build river tables, I do turnings on the lathe with wood and resin, I do all kinds of stuff like that. So if, th if that sounds interesting, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube stuff. But today I need to figure out a way to heat the shop because I have a lot of chemicals in here and materials that I need to have at a certain temperature to be able to pour it right and store it correctly and all of that stuff. I was gonna build a resin room in here and I will, but with the pandemic, the price of materials is pretty astronomical. So that will happen, but I'm gonna wait till everything comes down. Um, you can do electric, gas. The problem with gas in this shop is my, the gas service is 300 feet away. And I would still have to, I mean, it'd be a huge expense to get it done. This heater is electric. I have to do the wiring myself, or you can have someone do it, but it'd still be cheaper than doing that. And I'm reading the reviews on these. I'm relatively confident it's gonna work well. This is a 2,000 square foot shop. This is supposed to heat 1,500 square feet. I don't need it to be 90 degrees in here. I just need it to be 65-ish, and I'd be happy. So this is a comfort zone, industrial. Uh, heater is electric. You have to wire it in. It's 240 volt. If you're not good at electricity or you're scared of it or, or um, just not comfortable, hire a professional is my best advice. I'll, I'm going to go over a few things, but not much because there's a lot of experts out there. Um, if you're either you're good at it or you can do it or you can't. If you can do it, you won't have a problem doing it. If you can't, hire somebody to do it. That's all I'll say about that. Uh, they, this is a 10,000 watt one. They sell a 5,000 and a 7,500 watt and you just have to look up and see which size would be appropriate for your shop. Um, I have a unique situation up there so I'm going to build a bracket and I'm going to show that and we're going to put it in. It's supposed to be freezing tomorrow morning so I'm going to get this hooked up and we're going to turn it on. I'll mess around with it a little bit talk about it. And then in the morning, I'm going to come out here and we'll see what the temperature in the shop is. So uh, let me show you what I bought so far to do this, to get it, um, to get it hooked up and get it wired up. This here is 8-2 wire with a ground, which means there's two 8-gauge wires in there with the ground. So you have a breaker. This is a 40-amp breaker. And a hot's going to go there, a hot's going to go there, and then the little ground in there is going to go to a grounding bar in your uh, breaker box. So that's how that works. We, um, and then on, in the bottom of this heater, the other end is going to go there, and I'll, I'll show you where it goes. Probably won't show you wiring it in, but I'll show you where it goes. Um, I bought this conduit for it to go in. I bought half inch. I, I think I can squeeze that in there. And then you have these. These are called nylon liquid type fittings type b and it'll it will go into your fuse block it'll go there and then this will go like that and you tighten it down boom i bought some some angle iron that i need to make i need to make a bracket out of it and you'll see about what i do in a minute this is straight from the home store uh, the red stuff, the red ends at, at that particular store means that it's weldable. Um, I bought some self-tapping screws. These are 14 by 3 quarter and these are 12 by 1 inch. Um, I'm just going to use whichever one works the best when I get to it. Um, I'm going to build this bracket. I'm going to screw it together. I'm going to get it where I want it and then I'm going to weld it. You don't have to have a welder or, or weld this. The screws the screws will work fine, but I haven't used my welder in a while and I want to use it. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing. The first thing I noticed right away is this half inch stuff's not going to work. Uh, there's a three quarter inch uh, knockout there. I should have researched it better, but all I gotta do is switch this stuff out, so it's no big deal. That's not gonna stop me from building this bracket and getting it, getting it hung up there and getting it ready to wire. So let's do that. I'm gonna show you, I'll kind of give you a little view up there of what I got going on and, and I'll make a bracket. You can see our fuse block is there. Fuse block. I used to be a mechanic. Breaker block used to, is right there and it'll go right up there. We have those support beams going across and 
There's really not much to attach this thing to. You can make an L bracket and hang it off of that, but I think that would be a little weird. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this angle iron and I'm gonna put it on top of that. On top of that support, I'll drill holes right here and self tap it there. And then I'm gonna weld some, I'm gonna weld some, uh, some braces off of there. I'm kinda gonna, this is the bracket that holds the heater up and I'm kinda gonna go off of this size. I think I have some flat stock too. I'll probably, uh, as you can imagine, I'm gonna bolt that to that. That'd be welded to that. <laughs> Let's just do it. Here's that uh, angle iron that we just drilled some holes in. And I put it up here on this bar. So I self tap those screws in there. These screws are pretty cool. They just, you just drill them in there. They drill their own hole and they tighten down. So that's how the top of it's gonna be held in. Let's go build the rest of it. This bracket's gonna sit over that piece of pipe like that, and that's gonna go into our other bracket that came with the uh, heater. Obviously, this is not a welding channel. All right, this is six two wire, which means these are six gauge, the two big ones and the small one is the ground. And I showed you how the breaker, you plug the hot hot into that. And that goes in your fuse block. Uh, here's the uh, three quarter inch, <laughs> three quarter inch um, conduit. And of course, and I have these, these are three quarter inch, and I'm gonna show you how the wires go in the, in the thing. The directions are very easy to understand that L1 and L3 is where you hook your hots to, and that bolt right there is where you hook your ground to. There it is, it's all installed, the brackets made, the electrical's done. Uh, once again, if you're not an expert, don't be showing this stuff on YouTube. Um, it's up to you to do electricity be safe in your own shop, all of that stuff. It is installed, it's wired up. I turned it on once for just a few seconds just to see if everything is cool. Then I buttoned everything up and now I'm about to test it for the first time. It's 52 degrees outside and it's about 57 degrees in, in here. I'm gonna turn this on, I'm gonna set it to 65 and see how long it takes to get to 65. And uh, I'll be back when it's 65 in here. And here you got your remote. Just hit it. It says it's 61. You heard that pop, that's it coming on. And I've set the temperature. When you're setting the temperature, it's gonna blink. I'm gonna set it for 65. Come on. And I'm probably 10 or 15 feet away and I could feel it already letting warm air out so I'm pretty happy about that. I'll come back when it's, uh, let's see, it's 150 right now, I'll, I'll see how long it takes. <laughs> six minutes, that, came, that went from 61 degrees to 66, but that's what it's reading up there. Um, 
Temperature still in here is 55. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow is supposed to be 32 degrees in the morning. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to mess with it. Kind of set the temperature where I think it needs to be. Thank you. When I come out in the morning, I'll, we'll see what it is. And uh, I hope it's about 65 degrees in here or so. So we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> All right, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I got up early for this. I promise you I won't be pouring resin at 6 o'clock in the morning, but it's, it's 29 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and the table is 63 degrees. This, uh, this is the kind of stuff I make in here. Uh, sometimes it's kind of weird. Sometimes it's regular stuff like hybrid bowls or whatever. But this was up about 6 feet tall, and it, it's 66 degrees, 67. This is undersized for my shop, and I knew that. It's gonna take some electricity to run it, and I knew that, uh, and I'm okay with it. Um, the stuff like this, the silicone here is super expensive. The resins, all of the stuff I use, um, I can keep it in the house. If I don't plan on, if I'm not gonna be out here for a week, I can take all this stuff in the house and it'll be fine. When I wanna pour out here, I know I'm gonna pour. I can turn on the timer as a cool remote. This thing is, is pretty neat. This isn't a review by any means, but just uh, how easy it was to install, it was super easy. Once again, electricity is, you can either do it or hire somebody. Um, I'm not here to teach you. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do electricity. I'll put a link below to this heater and there's other options on it on that particular link. Um, go there, check it out, compare and contrast and see what you like. I'll also put a couple of videos to some of the projects I've done. See if you like it. Some are instructional, some are music. I got a little bit of everything, so go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell for more, and we'll see you next time. Y'all be good.